Hello everybody. So I just made a video where I promised to show you how to use StatCrunch to do some of the calculations that are going to become real common in our class from this point forward. Um, and that is to calculate the variance and standard deviation from either a population or a sample. Okay, so I made a video first about what's the difference between a population and a sample. And then I made a video about what variance and standard deviation are and how the formulas are a little bit different, whether you're talking about a sample or a population. All right, so for now, we're going to most of the time when we're doing, when we're working on things in our class and practicing, we'll be dealing with samples, okay? So here's how to find the variance and the standard deviation for a sample, okay? So here's my example that I want to run through real quick on paper. I know this is not really paper, but you get the idea. So the data set is 1, 2, 3, and 18. Now, it starts with finding the mean. Okay, well, how do you find the mean? Well, so you add these numbers together, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 18, and you divide by how many data entries there are, 4. Okay, so that turns out to be 6 if you do that. The mean or the center middle, whatever you want to say, of this data set is 6. Now, um, these formulas, though they look intimidating and complicated, uh, all they say is you take, see that right there, it says that's the data entry, subtract the mean from it, square what you get, do that with every data entry and add them all together, then divide by a number one less than the data set. So n is how many entries are in the data set. n minus 1 is 1 less than that. So for this data set, I could say that you know, maybe an important number might be that n is 4. Okay? All right. To use our notation over here. This Greek letter mu, I know that looks like a u, but it's, it's supposed to be this Greek letter. I have trouble writing it. It's, it's more like this. Okay. Anyway. Uh, so that's that's the mean. Okay. So if I was going to find the variance then for this data set, if the mean is 6, I would do 1 take away 6 and square it. Then 2 take away 6 and square it. And then 3 take away 6 and square that. And then 18 take away 6 and square that. I would add those results together. And I would divide by 3 because n is 4, n minus 1 is 3. Okay, now that number turns out to be 64.7 with some rounding, and that's the sample variance. Okay, if I should take the square root of that, I get the standard deviation for the sample. So here's the sample standard deviation. Now that's how things are done on paper. These are the formulas and, and so on. Um... But I, I want to show you how you, to use StatCrunch because that makes it a lot easier, all right? I want you to know how to read these formulas and know what the symbols are. Sigma is the standard deviation. Sigma squared is the variance. Mu, this letter, is the mean. Um, and then this says, you know, you subtract, you square, you, you know, all that, okay? I want you to know how to do the calculations. But let's, let's do what the StatCat says. Let's see how to do this in stat crunch. Way easier, okay? So we're going to move past this. Probably not do any more calculations on paper, but it may happen, all right? So I'm going to go to stat crunch, okay? Now, um, here are the data. That, now, this is stat crunch you can open from the examples in my math lab, okay? So, all right, say I open that and uh, I, but I can put whatever I want into this. You know, if I, I want, you know, here. So there's a data entry right there, okay? Uh, but let's say the, the, in my example I was just doing, it was what? 1, 2, 3, and 18? Okay, 1, 2, 3, and 18. And I normally organize, uh, let's organize the data sets in columns. So if I had another data set that was different, I might put it over here in, in the next column. But anyway, okay. So here's my data set. Now how can we do those calculations in StatCrunch. So we go to, uh, see this stat right here, okay? 
then summary stats. Now, I am organizing the data into columns, vertical columns, and so I'm going to choose columns. Now, when this menu comes up, we need to choose that, yes, I want to use the data in the column bare one, okay? If I had like other columns and I didn't want to use them right now, I would just select the one I wanted. So I got to select that. And then let's see. Uh, well, let's let's go through everything that I said, like what's in. That's the number of entries in the data set, okay? Now, to select more, I'm going to hold down uh, the control button, CTRL. Let's, let's do the mean also, okay? What was it? That was six, right? So let's, let's verify that. And let's do the variance and standard deviation. Okay. Uh, now we've learned other things. The median, we've learned that before. The range, the minimum value, the maximum value. Uh, quartiles, um, unadjusted variance, coefficient of variance. There's all these other things. Okay, statistics is very a very complicated science. All right, we're just scratching the surface. But anyway, okay. So I've got what I want, and then I just, I'll put compute, and here it all is. Now, do these numbers match what I did on paper? Let's see. N is four. Okay, yeah, N is four. There's four entries in the data set. The mean was six. Uh, sure, okay, you add everything together, you divide by N, you get six. Okay, the variance was 64.66, you know, so on. Uh, yeah, a 64.7, I rounded it. That was the sample variance. And the standard deviation was 8.04. Uh, okay, so I, I was able to confirm all those numbers. Wait, it's easier in stat crunch, but, you know, if I'm using a calculator or a computer program, software, whatever, to do something for me, then I, I want to know what those numbers mean, okay? Because remember, like, one, one, one last thing. The variance and the standard deviation, the formulas are slightly different if you're dealing with a sample or a population, okay? So it appears that when I use StatCrunch to calculate the variance and standard deviation, that's the sample variance and standard deviation. Okay, that's these, right? Because I just confirmed my numbers. So keep that in mind. Uh, and I think virtually always, may, maybe always, when you uh, are seeing examples in my math lab, there will be uh, you'll be dealing with samples, all right. And so you can you can use this. But if you ever had to do things on paper, if something just wasn't working out, and you had to you know check it somehow by doing some calculations on paper with, with like a basic calculator, then I showed you how to do that too. All right, so I think we'll leave it with this. Like most of the time, we'll use StatCrunch, okay? But it sure is nice to know how to do things on paper just in case uh, we might need to.